City FinTech was established last November, we actually, is when we opened our doors and then we went dark because the idea was, is how do we go away and really define how we want to be the premier mobile bank offering. So I, I'm a lifer with City, so I have um, 28 years with City. But, and I've seen it go through various transformations. Um, you know, I've seen us really invest in our products and our platforms and you know, evolve as an organization. But I look at what we've been able to do in FinTech over such a short period of time, and, and it makes me really, really proud to know that one, we have the company backing to be able to really divert resources and stand up a team dedicated to, to these initiatives. Um, as I said, we've built a product in less than six months with a significant number of features. That, in our traditional models, just hasn't been possible. We've, by focusing on our customer, we've been able to reduce um, our research um, costs and timelines by 94%. And we don't look at this just from a, what are the other banks doing? We look at various different industries and, um, and what's really going on in the market and are constantly comparing because it's really important that we understand the fintech ecosystem. So we clearly know where do we want to build ourselves, where do we want to partner, where should we be looking to buy to really make sure that we're on the cutting edge of mobile services in the banking industry. We have to take a step back and realize the traditional way of doing things isn't going to get us there. So if we look at agile organizations and startup organizations, we recognize we needed to fundamentally change the way that we operate. So we really did, we started with customer first. Everything we do is centered around what is it the customer needs and constantly validating. So even when we're doing a two week sprint, we go back after those two weeks and validate that yes, we understood and we heard exactly what the customer um, wanted. And we really look into a for more leaner and data-driven um, approaches to guide us. And then we changed the entire development methodology. So we really looked at moving away from traditional waterfall life, uh, life cycles and bringing it back into an agile development organization where we're combining the business and technology in individual scrum teams in order to really focus on um, core components and core features and making sure that we can release to market quickly. So we're a brand new division within City, and our goal is to really figure out how we want to service and work directly with our customers and, and what approaches that we're gonna use. So that includes new technology, includes new methodologies, but fundamentally, the way that we're prioritizing is really by listening and understanding the needs of our customers. This one to me is absolutely critical, and if I look at um, where we've come. If you think about it, we actually hired our first development team in March and we're able to, to build a product in six months. Um, having people that are really experienced in this industry ha has been absolutely critical. And one of the expectations is, is that they come from industries where they've been through transformations or that they only know how to operate in this new startup-like culture. Because what we want to do is really embed those and, um, and and take those learnings and move them across the bank as a whole. So I, th I don't think it's just one thing. I think there's a couple of pieces that have to come together, but you have to be willing to go outside of the norm. You've got to be willing to challenge yourself and, um, and not be pegged in and operate within you know, the, the traditional policies and procedures. It, it's key. You've got to be able to step back and be willing to redefine your product completely differently and start from scratch. For us, we don't look at product lines. We start with what does the customer need, and it's, it's irrelevant as to the specific product line it fits into. So, so that, to me, is absolutely key. You've got to challenge the status quo. And you, the second piece is you have to be able to invest in the talent and the culture, because if you don't bring in the right people, and they don't have the skills and the knowledge and of the way that you want to operate, you're going to see that this quickly unravels. Mm -hmm.